Welcome to Fashion Masters Q&A with DNQ, episode eight, a demonstration of diaphragmatic breathing. Hi there, my name is Deanna Hansen. I'm a certified athletic therapist and the founder of Fluid Isometrics and Block Therapy. And my name is Quinn Castellate. I'm the VP of Block Therapy and the lead block therapist. So why is Quinn <laughs> lying on this table without a shirt? Uh, so somebody asked us to demonstrate proper diaphragmatic breathing. So here we're gonna go and we're gonna do this. So first of all, you can see Quinn right now. He's breathing through his belly. And what that means is his diaphragm muscle is working. So the diaphragm is literally a plate of muscle right about here. It's the ceiling to the abdominal organs and the floor to the heart and the lungs. So when he is inhaling, the diaphragm moves down, the belly rises. When we exhale, the diaphragm moves up and we squeeze the belly small to move the waist out of the body with that full exhalation. So there's a couple of really interesting things that are happening here from a mechanical perspective. When we're working this muscle properly, again, all of these abdominal organs with that inhalation, they're getting compressed as that diaphragm moves down, and then the heart and the lungs are getting compressed as the diaphragm lifts in the body. This mechanical action is creating an internal movement. It's like turning on the furnace of the body. Quinn, can you demonstrate incorrect breathing? It's hard to do, eh? It feels awkward. <laughs> it does feel awkward. And t people typically breathe through their mouth too. So it's more like, and then a deeper breath would be more like, So let's talk about um, the differences first of all. So at the base of the lungs, we have the two lobes of the lungs right here, and they're basically sitting on the diaphragm muscle. It's at the base of the lungs where 70% of the alveoli reside, the oxygen receptor sites. So when we're breathing properly as Quinn is doing, when he's inhaling, he's pulling the air from the nose all the way down into the lungs so that that oxygen can be absorbed by those alveoli. Now breathing correctly for me for a minute. When we're breathing through the muscles of the upper chest, we're not bringing that breath deeply enough into the lungs. And there's just a spattering of alveoli at the top. So the absorption of oxygen is really poor with that chest breather. Now let's just talk about the exhalation phase. When Quinn is breathing properly, exhaling fully, again, the diaphragm muscle is lifting up into the rib cage, pushing out the waist. And we've said it before, but in 2014, they did a study that proved that 84% of weight loss comes from proper exhalation. So when we're exhaling fully and properly with every single breath, we are moving the cellular waste out of the body. When we're breathing incorrectly, show us again. When we're breathing incorrectly, this muscle's not even really moving. It might be moving a little bit, but it's not moving properly. So all of the waste that settles in the base of the lungs, it's getting stuck there. And the reality is we live in a really dirty world. We're always pulling in toxins, debris, garbage. And the body is also always undergoing cellular action, creating waste. So if we don't exhale what we pull in and what we create out of the body, that gets stored in our system and we become toxic. So when we are breathing, again, it's like turning on that internal furnace and that's a very powerful pump to send blood and oxygen flow to every single one of our 100 trillion cells all the way to the feet. Let's talk a little bit about the aorta. The aorta is the main artery leaving the heart right about here. It's a tube. So when we have proper alignment and we are working this muscle correctly, that tube is intact and it doesn't require too much effort for the heart to move blood all through the body. When we have a weak diaphragm, now we don't have a nice solid foundation to support the rib cage, so inevitably we collapse. When we collapse, 
we are squeezing that artery and again breathe in correctly and we aren't giving this area that nice internal massage so it creates a cooling in through here that's going to cause combined with the collapse of incorrect posture which inevitably happens from a weak diaphragm that's going to create a tunnel or a tube that's twisted now your heart is going to have to work harder to send blood flow and down the road that can lead to things that we don't want to happen in the body so when we breathe diaphragmatically it is a game changer for how we feed the body how we heat the body how we treat the body how we minimize the effect of gravity over time the anti-aging principles come really from that full exhalation that's what's lifting us against the force of gravity over time it is that full exhalation again when we're not breathing in through here and we freeze think of all the actions of digestion when we are eating food the food comes into the stomach organ proper digestion in part is helped through the action of the diaphragm mechanically moving up and down creating action in there the gallbladder the liver their goals are to break down fats or clean the blood when those fats aren't properly broken down because they're cold then they become solid and we can have things like gallstones or fatty liver disease the pancreas is right here this is the organ specifically the islets of Langerhans that control blood sugar if we aren't getting this mechanical action here and we're displacing the whole rib cage on this area now that organ isn't going to work properly for us and that's going to create other situations that we don't want not to mention again the heart and the lungs breathing issues this all is improved through proper breakdown with proper diaphragmatic breathing so this is a demonstration of how to do it and the best way that I have found to ensure that we are breathing diaphragmatically is by lying on this block now if you don't have a block you can always use a hardcover book but what's really cool is we put it right on the belly button and then we lie on it and that gives us the tool to breathe into with the inhalation it also creates a nice lengthening of this tissue a melting of adhesions in the core area that get affected from in, improper breathing over our lifetime so Quinn do you have anything you want to add no I think you described that perfectly um, again if you guys want to start learning this do that belly position right away using a hard covered book if you have a block that's awesome um, other than that I think that wraps up the episode wonderful okay well thank you so much for joining us I hope this gave you a little bit of insight as to why diaphragmatic breathing is just so darn important and how to start today so that you can make this your habit breathe and believe <laughs>